And now uh, another concern certainly right now is the issue of protesters who have made their way onto the freeway of 7585 there, uh, not far from downtown. When we think about the protests involving Michael Brown and, and uh, Ferguson, Missouri a couple of years ago, protesters had attempted to get onto the freeway to block motorists. They were unsuccessful in doing that as there had been a blockade of Georgia Highway Patrolman there, but this has been uh, a, a different issue tonight. They are now blocking that area. Let's get an update on how the traffic situation stands in that portion of downtown Atlanta. Crash Clark joins us now. Crash, what do you know? Well, you can see obviously right here from the Sky Tracker, there is a huge police presence on the downtown connector, not in the southbound side, but mainly in the northbound side. What we're looking at right here is the Varsity and North Avenue. But you can see from one of the maps that I just pulled up right here, there is a there is a lot of traffic that is now starting to obviously slow down around the Grady Curve northbound and then southbound traffic from Midtown right around the Brookwood split. So we're definitely seeing a huge impact downtown. Obviously, a lot of flashing lights and police presence. We've seen this before when protesters have made their way on the interstates, obviously in other areas as well. Uh, it looks like APD, probably Georgia State as well, are trying to prepare for it, but there is a huge presence. They're letting the traffic go. That's interesting that they are letting some of the traffic go. You can see the southbounders are definitely slow approaching William Street and that Grady Curve area. But certainly from the maps here, you can see a lot of congestion. Obviously, the icon off the side there into case where all the protests are and I was looking at some of the earlier maps and there are numerous streets that are going to remain completely blocked off for a while but certainly a presence right now on the downtown connector itself not impacting I-20 or 7585 at the Brookwood split but a huge impact on the downtown connector not only southbound but northbound obviously if you're listening to us if you're hearing us you're watching us online right now avoid this area at all costs because this is probably going to get a little bit worse especially as the night starts to fall but you can see in fact it looks like a new icon just flashed up on the top of my screen here you can see that blue barricade that indicates that police are more than likely going to stop traffic flow on the downtown connector so uh, that's going to be a big deal right there we're going to keep in touch with all of this you can see from another sky tracker shot that's just over north avenue by the varsity it looks like they might stop traffic on the downtown connector i'm going to get a couple more views from the sky tracker and we'll be right back in touch